Hi guys, and here we are at the tiny house. Unfortunately, she's been flooded. I'll put some pictures on. What I've done is I've ripped all the cabinetry out and pulled out all of the wet insulation. Oven's out. All around the bunks. All cut away. The water came up to about 200 mils below or 100 mils below where I've cut and I've pulled out the wet insulation obviously all the flooring pretty heart wrenching and um, it hasn't gone mouldy yet but what I'm going to do is because it's been river water is um, treat it with some borax now it's a natural sort of a salt that um, mould just doesn't like to live in sort of kills the mould spores so I've got two litres of really hot water and I'm going to tip all that borax in it and then I'm just going to go along and just spray all of the wet areas I've got my dehumidifier going it's New Zealand at the moment, it's a wee bit cold so um, I do have a heater down there as well that just clicks on a thermostat when it gets below about oh, I don't know 18 degrees or something like that just to keep the air warm enough for the dehumidifier to work because if you don't keep it too warm what happens is, is those coils in the back there they just ice up, they just turn to ice blocks and that, that was what was happening this morning so um, essentially speaking that's what we're going to do and um, I'll let you know how it goes we'll spray it, I'll leave the de dehumidifier on all night and hopefully It'll sort of dry. I may even give it another coat tomorrow, just over the um, over the boards that were covered by the panel because they had water seeping in them for about 24 hours. So I just want to try and protect it um, as best as I can, so that I can rebuild it because um, it is my home. It's the only one I've got, so pretty important. Um, yeah, but I'll put on some photos of what the wee house looked like um, as well. So yeah. I'll report back. Cheers.